Welcome to our Pivot video. The craziest things that have ever happened to me at Fashion Week. That's a tough one. And I think the craziest thing is I almost saw two street style photographers literally almost die. <laughs> I'm just still mortified about that experience. I think about it pretty much every single show I go to. I've been covering Fashion Week from New York to London to Milan to Paris since 2009. So a lot of, a lot of things have happened to me and I've seen a lot of things and I will never be the same. So my first wild Fashion Week story, uh, I think was in 2011. I finally worked up the courage to sneak myself into an Alexander Wang after party. And it was a frat party themed rager on the West Side Highway on a pier. And there were beer bongs and bathtubs full of beer cans and celebrities everywhere and just general debauchery. It was awesome. But um, Tyler, the creator, was performing and I had a few too many Budweiser's or PBR's or whatever themed beer, whatever beer sponsor was happening. And um, I get in the crowd behind a bunch of models, so I couldn't really see anything. And Tyler was performing and he threw a full bottle of vodka into the crowd. And I thought I would be safe because I was the shortest person there. But no, it hit me square in the head. And for a few seconds, I like blacked out. I thought for sure I was going to have a concussion. And my friends had left me because obviously that's what friends do at fashion parties. They leave you by yourself. And so I went out and sat by the water as like Jared Leto or whoever was like walking by just making sure I didn't pass out and like need to go to a hospital. Um, so I woke up the next morning, I found my way home with a bruise on my forehead, a giant MAC Cosmetics branded glow stick in my bed, and you know, a full day of shows to go to. So that was really fun, but no regrets. Alexander Wang parties are all fun and games until you almost die. I went to the first Tommy Hilfiger for Gigi Hadid or Gigi Hadid for Tommy Hilfiger collaboration show. It was on a pier and they had two rows of wooden chairs set up. We were all kind of waiting to see who was going to show. Gigi obviously runs with a squad of people. And at the very last minute, Taylor Swift showed up, which everyone obviously lost their minds over. And after the show wrapped, Taylor was walking out with a squad of people, like a whole entourage, and somehow it happened that Tommy Hilfiger himself had come up sort of behind my row of chairs, and it was just like this space-time convergence where they saw each other and locked eyes across my row of wooden chairs. So they walked up to each other to greet each other, and of course the entire scrum of people, photographers, fans, fashion editors, closed in and what ended up happening is all the wooden chairs got moved so that I was in like chair jail. I was just surrounded by wooden chairs. I had to climb over them to get out um, but I was so in awe because Taylor Swift was this far away from my face and I almost couldn't process that she was this real human being standing in front of me and only after everyone cleared off and I kind of chilled out did I realize that I literally couldn't move. Um, so that was really fun. I just kind of stood and tried to film the chairs around me before I climbed out. Oh. Really hard to film like this. One season, I was in the same room as Rihanna four different times. That's the whole story. My very first show ever, I went with my old editor at my first job. I absolutely love her. And I was using someone else's invitation, which of course happens all the time, but me being like a tiny baby who had just graduated from college um, and never going to a show before, I was of course paranoid that I was gonna get blacklisted and never get to go to a show again and 
bring shame to the entire magazine. So of course, me being me, I like went to go check in and gave the invitation um, to the people working the door and said like, this says someone else's name, but like, I'm really Mora, I'm an assistant and I work for blah, blah, blah. And my boss who was checking in next to me was so mortified and was just like so embarrassed. And I totally get where she's coming from. Um, but I am just, still mortified about that experience. I think about it pretty much every single show I go to. The craziest part of Fashion Week is street style and street style photographers, the insanity that happens outside the shows. And I think the craziest thing is I almost saw two street style photographers literally almost die. <laughs> um, it was during a snowstorm and they were running across the street with a red light to catch this girl. And I don't know who she was and I didn't recognize the photographers. I don't mean that in a shady way. I'm just telling you kind of what the scene is. And it had just been a huge snowstorm, so there was a huge snowplow. And I don't mean like a tiny truck, I'm talking about the ones that are attached to like garbage trucks. Coming down the street at full speed, and the street style photographers ran in front of it, and it's glared, like glaring on its horn, and they jumped out of the way just in time, but I legitimately thought I was gonna see somebody die for street style, which was crazy. And they missed it just in time, but the snow from the plow went all the way up their back. That's how close they came <laughs> to the snow plow, which nothing is worth it. I can assure you, like not even the best Gucci moment is worth risking being run over by a snow plow. Last season, I had a super busy day. Usually every season there's one day where I'm just like on my feet from 7 a.m. until however late at night. And I very rarely get to drop my stuff off at the office or even sit down. So on that day, conveniently, last season, I was using a new bag. I was very excited about it. And the strap, like probably, it wasn't even like 11 a.m. yet. Like maybe 9.30, like the strap just totally broke and disembodied the entire bag. All of my stuff went like flying all over the street. It was super dramatic and I was of course like very frazzled. So the rest of the day, I was like literally walking around carrying my bag under my shoulder and it wasn't like a cute clutch. It was just like, I, in the, like it just looked really bad. And you could tell that the strap had fallen off because it was just like swinging around. Um, so maybe make sure that all of your bags and accessories are in tip-top shape before Fashion Week starts. One of the craziest things that happened to me my very first season at New York Fashion Week was I was actually shooting street style at the time because I was a photographer before I was a writer and I was in this bank of street style photographers there was like a bunch of us standing around it was like after everyone had just gone into a show and this guy came out and was like looking into looking at this sort of like crowd of photographers he's like you and I was like what? And he was like, come with me. And I was like, okay. So I'm just like following this guy. I was like, I have no idea who he is. And he just walks past the lines, like walks past all the guards and just like walks in backstage. And I was like, who is this guy? Like, how did he just do that? So normally it's like not that easy to just like get into backstage with any show. So we like go back there and people are kind of like looking around at us. Like the other backstage photographers that are normally there are like all gone by then. Like the show must have been about to start or something. He's like, take pictures of what's going on. And I was like, okay. So I'm like, just like wandering around. I was like taking pictures. Like, I don't know what is going on. Finally, I was like, who are you? And he was like the editor of some small digital magazine somewhere in, I don't even remember, somewhere in like Southeast Asia. And then eventually someone comes and basically kicks us out because we're not actually supposed to be there. And he basically got in by just like being super confident and like pulling me behind him. And then we like come out and he like hands me his business card and he's like, send me all the photos you just took. And I was like, I don't, okay, what? One February season, it was really, really bad in terms of snow and sleet and hail and all of that wintry goodness. But that didn't stop people from wanting to wear heels and street style bait. So I went to the Ralph Lauren show one morning and there was an ambulance parked outside because someone in heels had fallen and needed to go to the actual hospital, which is really dark.